What it do, what it do, what it do, good people. Coming to you live from Taz TV 410. I'm your host, Taz Dane. Before we get started, go ahead, like, share, subscribe to the channel. Listen here, good people. I ain't gonna hold you long. I ain't gonna hold you long at all, right? I'm reading a 1981 uh, uh, sports article in the Sun paper, right? And it was about Coach Lefty Drizel when he was at, at, at University of Maryland. Now, people, it, it, it this hits home for me because Coach Lefty recruited me down at Georgia State. We're going to get back to me later, a, little, a little later. However, I'm reading the article, and I can see that Coach Wade and Coach Lefty don't really rock with each other. Coach Wade, like, man, he's a snake. He, 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 basically, he's a snake. Uh, uh, the reporter said, oh, uh, Lefty used to be on some, it, it felt like he by any means necessary, he's going to do what he got to do to get his player, right? So it kept going on because at this time you had you had a Russ that was a senior. You had David Wingate, a senior. You had Muggsy Bowles that was a senior, right? Um, so, 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 so they asked him, they asked him about the dumb ball players, this, that, and the third. He said he wanted Muggsy Bowles. However, he went with a kid down there. I want to say uh, Gatlin, Gatlin, is it? Gatlin, Gatlin, something Gatlin in North Carolina. He said he went with him, right? So the last player that he had got from uh, from Baltimore, Dunbar in particular, was, was Ernie Graham. So I guess when, uh, when, uh, when, 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 uh, when Graham was there, when Mr. Graham was there at the time, he must was going through something mentally. Not saying like he was breaking down or nothing, but what, uh, people that play that played this game sometimes it's ups and downs. And when you coming from a uh, coming from a city, and sometimes the structure is not it's not going to be like a college. It's because that's a, it's a whole different level. Just that in the third, and for some players you got to adjust to that. You are away from home. Just that in the third. If you was that guy, you're not that guy no more because everybody in your team can do the same thing you do. You know, for some players, that's a that's adjustment period. However, Coach Wade didn't like how Coach Wade didn't like how how Coach Lefty handled Mr. Graham, right? He ain't like how he handled him, right? So Coach Wade like, man, the man try to go around my back. To get the, uh, 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 the to get the Russ, right now at this time, Russ and David Winkie, I think they top. Russ is the number one shooting guard in the country at this time. Who the number one player? I want to say he was even a number one shooting guard or the number one player. Regardless, he was all American, right? Check. All right. So 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 so. Coach Lefty, they asked him. They asked him about the recruiting, and you got Dunbar Calvin Hall down there bidding for who to be the best team in the country. You know what I'm saying? So you know his talent on both on both teams, right? I want to say uh, he ain't he ain't he ain't did he was it Mark Evans? He, he tried to recruit Peck. Uh, I want to say, was it? I got, I got to go back. Well, anyway, let me keep pushing. So, he been, the last two years, Ernie Graham was the last the person that he got from Baltimore. All right. They asked him, why, you got a, is a, is a class coming out? Or are you going to be able to get any of them? Right? Coach, Coach Wade already shut the thing down because it ain't like how he was recruiting. The newspaper had called the man. He said, man, the man is, is demonic when he's recruiting the kid. Right? He, he got a lot of, uh, they said everybody thought that he was a great recruiter because he was recruiting Moses Malone, right? The great Moses Malone, right? The, the Moses Malone that went straight from high school uh, to the pros at that time, right? So he had Moses Malone on campus for, I want to say, like, what, three weeks? And people was like, whoa, that's a long time to be on campus. So they thought he was, that was signed, sealed, and delivered, Right? Moving on, Moses go to uh, Moses go to the NBA, right? Now at this time he got Buck Williams, but Buck Williams go it, he he leaving and going to the NBA, right? So um, 
reason why I brought this up, right? Coach Lefty, uh, Giselle, it made me, it kind of made me pissed all over again, right? Because in, in the thing, he was a little sarcastic. And in, in, in Eva, he was a little sarcastic in his comment. He said, oh, uh, they talk about the talent in Baltimore. So he's like, yeah, the, the, the talent is there because of the University of Maryland. They see us on, on TV. They see us on TV. What do you say? They see us on TV. And um, they see us on TV. And they and, and they work hard and they work hard to try to come to the University of Maryland. Something like that, right? Something of the sorts. You know what I'm saying? Um I'm like, man. Why couldn't that why did why see this this, this. if I'd have known what I know now about Coach Lester Giselle, you know. I know he loved by a lot, by, by many. I understand that. But I ain't, this ain't one that you're talking to. The reason why I'm saying that, listen. Yeah. Yeah, come. Re reason why I say that, right? And, 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 and it's close to me. He recruited me down to Georgia State, right? At this time, Georgia State coming off of, uh, an NCAA bid. It's Georgia State. This I feel as though this is my level. This is a mid-major, you know. Uh, I'm down. It's Atlanta, downtown Atlanta. I'm leaving Kansas, and I'm going to be with my people, you know. Uh, my team was great, you know what I mean? But he lied. He lied to me real bad. He lied to me real bad. Now, listen. And, and 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 no disrespect to my guys, my uh, my Georgia State teammates, but anything I'm saying, everything I'm saying is factual. Now, when we get down there, we have a, uh, you know, everybody get together. I mean, every team's gonna, you know, you take a drug test, all that type of stuff. So you know, we we ball, we just hoping, we hoping, you know, preseason, you know, we getting it in, right? I had a good preseason. We had a midnight madness, right? We had a midnight madness. And the Midnight Madness, that's the game at 12 o'clock, you know. That's like the kickoff of the season, right, for the people that don't know. Um, so he had the newcomers, which was my team. Now, mind you, it was five newcomers. I want to say five newcomers. Now, you had uh, Rio, Daniel, Trelo, myself. It's four of us coming from JUCO. You had Herman Favors. He was coming from high school, but from down to Georgia area. Right. Home local kid to play. So it was us five against the, 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 the returners. You know what I'm saying? So we got with him. We smoked him. We smoked him. I was the leading scorer on both teams with 16. I missed like seven free throws or something like that. Uh, my plus, my my plus minus was 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 high, right? So so one thing about me, and and and, and, and I and I kind of can speak for Baltimore players, well, at least the old ones, right? People don't people they ain't they ain't give me nothing. Like I earned all my I earned my all mine. Now I'm coming from the Kansas, the JUCO down in Kansas. At this time, the Jayhawk Conference was the toughest, the toughest conference in the in, 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 in the nation. If you don't believe me, go read it for yourself and the players that played in that thing, right? Now, in the year, my freshman year down there, Jamal, we played together again. Jamal Brown, play of the year. The next year, I'm play of the year. You know, feeling good, you know? At the end of the day, and, and, and the thing about it, see, when I tell my story, I did the same. I made the same mistake this time that I did last time. But however, anyway, he promised me certain things. But by this time, I know how uh, I know how coaches tell stories. I know how they lie, right? So I'm like, uh, thanks, chief. So I'm like, so I'm like, cool. You know, East Baltimore, Northeast Baltimore, East Coast. We gonna play hard. And we just earned it all over again. Gotta make your name all over again. 
So I thought I did that. We playing against, we play against Auburn. We get a, a game against Auburn on ESPN. Now, mind you, like I said, when I chose Georgia State, I felt as though it's a mid-major. They on TV sometimes. I knew the games was going to be on TV. And as long as I get to the tournament, Gucci. Yeah. Yep. Gucci. Last two minutes of the first, first, uh, first half, he picked me in. Go in there, get two rebounds. Get fouled. Missed both of my free throws. Got to assist and steal. Check. So I'm thinking, next half, I'm going to really play. Set me the whole second half. Play against another team. It was Mississippi. Is it them? Well, I didn't play again. So now I, I feel some type of way because now I'm in a position that I've never been in, right? But you, if you just talk to me, let me know what's going on. So I demanded a, 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 a I demanded a, a, a meeting. Because at the same time, I'm like, man. Anyway, go to the meeting there. It's me and Coach Lefty Drizel, right? So he like, hey, hey he give me the, uh, he ain't really, he ain't looking at me in my eye. He asked me uh, what's wrong. I'm saying, well, why I'm not playing? I ain't getting in trouble. I'm not. Uh, I'm not being disrespectful to my coaches, my team. I'm doing what I'm supposed to do, playing my role. He gonna tell me, Taz, I want to save you. I want. I want. I want to save you for the conference games. I don't want to play you the non-conference games. I'm gonna tell you that I lost. I, I, I lost it in there. I ain't calling no bees or nothing like that. But he felt me in there to the point, two days later, they tried to get a, a drug test on me. Called me about four or five in the morning. Come on up to the uh, to the gym so you could take a test. They calling my uncle saying, oh, 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 I don't know what's going, with him, going on with him. Like I'm on some depressed type stuff, just making up shit. I'm like, yo, just sign, this, this release me. Let me go to San Diego, man. Coach Mike, piece of shit. They lied to me like a mom. Yeah, we gonna release you, we gonna release you. Ain't release me, that's how I ended up back in Kansas. But come alive for Chad TV, I'll tell you the, the, uh, the rest of it later. Uh,